All right, welcome back. Getting back to our Congressional Corner, a sit-down interview with Congresswoman Louise Slaughter. Here in part two, we're covering a lot of topics, including potholes, climate change, and her previous campaign. What needs to change? I mean, you, of course, in, in, you know, on the, on the federal level, but I'm sure you look at what's going on in, in New York State and sure. in Albany, and it's been I a do. rough year uh, for Albany lawmakers. And but I think it's good. Oh, oh, let me tell you something. Well, you remember I had a campaign here not long ago based on corruption. Uh, one thing is uh, not a single member of my family other than me is to work for the government. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in all that, that nor do they. Uh, and I don't think we go into public service to enrich ourselves in any way. Uh, and uh, so uh, when he buried out corruption, I'm all for it. As a matter of fact, uh, you may remember I wrote a bill called the Stock Act, which stops insider trading by members of Congress and their staff. The first case under that law is going to be brought in the Southern District of New York. The SEC is suing a young man who gave out information from the Ways and Means Committee. What so else, I'm very anxious to see that come to fruition. What else needs to be done to prevent or fight corruption in Albany? You know, I, I, I want people who are elected to office to be fully formed and understand corruption is wrong. That's, I think, probably the best thing, the most essential thing. And whatever happened to integrity, what, what, that, what you owe, because you're given that ability, that priceless gift to be able to represent people and have a chance to write laws that changes their lives for the better, what in the world would anybody think that that's not absolutely enough? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and to try to enrich themselves in addition to that is just, uh, I, I, I want them gone. Speaking of wanting things gone, a lot of people are noticing in Rochester a lot of potholes. And I'm, I'm saying this Did kind of story. Did you ever? It's this winter. Like, it's been a brutal yeah. winter all over yes. New York State, not just in it's Rochester. It's global change, climate change. <laughs> well, before we get into that topic, well, I, though, I, if let's people just, don't believe it by now, start. I don't know what it'll take. Maybe the flood is going to follow. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's start from the ground up, though. What are we going to do to fix these panels? Is there any infrastructure money coming our way at all that you know of? I mean, um... heck no, Norma. <laughs> we, no do we do war. We do war. We we spend trillions of dollars uh, on a, a thirteen year war. Oh, there. I have been trying my best to get more money for infrastructure. We have a, a bridge. Uh, in Bushnell's Basin, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. over Marsh Road. Right. It's over 100 years old. The fire department, which is wonderful there and, and works so hard to, to take care of that community, has to go all the way around to get to part of the people they serve because that bridge is not adequate to hold a fire truck. Now, what kind of country? We're supposed to be the biggest superpower on the face of the earth. Our infrastructure is absolutely collapsing. I'm happy to tell you, and I said it to him at the Rules Committee this week, how nice it is to have a chair of the Transportation Committee that believes in transportation. It is going to be wonderful. I well, I know you've championed it yourself. Him. and Absolutely. So I, you're right. saying it's, it's harder and harder to get this money? Yes, because uh, the, uh, if you want to spend trillion dollars on a war, and then we rebuild those countries. I, I, I you know... I hesitate to throw this out well, because you know how much I've tried to upgrade the railroads. We right. are still basically using track that was here in the right. late 1800s. Uh, but I think we're building railroads in some of the countries where we've been fighting, and it really bothers me immensely. If we're going to rebuild a country, I want it to be mine. Let me ask you this. You have... Um You've been around a long time. You're proud of that mm -hmm. record. Yes, and I am. You're, you're, uh, you've come back from, from injury. You've come back from all sorts of things, from personal L loss losing to... Losing my husband, Right, yes. and, and to Which be was, here today. Yeah. Um, you had, a, you had a, hard, a hard fought political season, and a lot of people want to know, um, is this your last term? Norma, I never, you know, I, I, I never planned anything. I didn't plan on being in Congress in the first place. Uh, and I love what I'm doing, and I've got an awful lot of work to do. So it really depends on all sides. But the, the most important thing is whether people want to vote for me or not. I was in Wegmans yesterday, and a lot of people were saying, you know, that they, they really count on me. For reasons that I can't really explain, Democrats don't care to vote anymore. Um, there was turnoff all over the country and the, the turnout. 
Um, but people voted for you in the last election. It was a. It was, it was a, gigantic. It was we a, got, we it was got a, more. In 2012, we got more votes here than Obama did. Right, right. But I mean, this last election, mm -hmm. um, running against Marcosini, you know, there was a lot of people who were saying, "Is this is this Louise's last term? Could this be?" No, you we, know, he's expressed uh, interest in running again. Of course, he has. I don't. I understand that. Uh, the fact is, we did not run a good campaign. Uh, we were much more interested in trying to help somebody else get elected. Uh, thinking we were doing well. And we didn't have any signs or anything at all uh, of, of how that was going. Uh, we, we are taking strong, hard looks at the people uh, who do polling and things for us. Uh, but uh, I, I continue to do my work and let the politics take care of itself. I have other people thinking about that. So she, very honest and you know, very uh, forthcoming with uh, that whole question. A lot of people wanted to know. She's been in uh, politics so long. When will she mm -hmm. retire? And mm -hmm. as you heard right there, she's not telling. So. Uh, we do have more with her coming up at uh, 8.30, so uh, 12 minutes from now. Uh, fast Track Authority and uh, why she's so against it. That's coming up.